This is the World Adventurers Club, an organization of daredevil explorers, history makers, whose tales of hazardous journeys across the untracked wastes of the world will live forever. The quartet opens the meeting. Hear the bells, don't you hear the bells? They are ringing out the glory of the Lamb. Hallelujah, don't you hear the bells? Don't you hear the bells? They are ringing out the glory of the Lamb. Hear the bells, don't you hear the bells? They are ringing out the glory of the Lamb. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. This evening, gentlemen, I greet you with a distinct surprise. Good evening. This sounds like a riot. All right, all right, all right. Here goes. Now, you stop me if it's not a surprise. Come on. Come Tonight, gentlemen, I introduce to you a woman. A woman with a story You need. Of a trek across the desert of Chinese Turkestan. Incidentally, she's the only white woman of the West to have accomplished it. I now introduce to you, gentlemen, Madame Lochon. Gentlemen, I am honored. Our adventure took us into the wilds of unexplored Turkestan. My husband and myself. I returned from it. He gave his life. Oh, well... Perhaps, Madame. Oh, would no. Rather... He was not the first hero to die. We were both missionaries traveling on the fringe of the Gobi Desert, east of Mongolia. That region is known as the Thieves' Kitchen, infested by brigands. And we were endeavoring to transform these arid wastes into gardens of God. Were you traveling in caravan? Of course, with bandit escort. Our story opens at the oasis of Parang. It was nightfall. And we made camp. Suddenly the camels took fright. There's an ugly shriek with the air. Be calm. Keep close to me. Uh, the camels are not that big. There it goes again. I've never heard anything like it. Sounds even worse than Banshee. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I'll call the interpreter. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Come, 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 Oh, yeah, lady. What's it for? You make it cold. What's the matter? Matter? Good grief. Are you deaf? That unearthly yell. But tell us, what is it? Oh, yeah, no, no, no. You shall be the cry of hell, wild man. Back of hill. Overwinding load. He smell a white man. Oh. No, no. No worry. Oh, but you go to sleep. You will savvy when boy play our uh, Chinese music? Wild man, no can come. Mobada, Mobada, you go sleep. I go sleep. Goodbye. Tell me, Ethel, what about this hairy wild man? Why, you're trembling, dear. Come <laughs> to the tent. Trembling? I'm half dead. I've heard that music charms him away. He's supposed to be covered with white hair. That resembles the giant ape, yet unlike him. They are the closest to Darwin's missing link. He carries off white people, kills natives. Oh, I shall be glad when daylight comes. Shh! Was it a cough I heard? Why, no, I heard nothing. <laughs> it's your imagination, dear. Perhaps one of the camel pullers. No, it was the cough of a cultured person, a white man. Put out the lamp. Listen. Yes, I'm listening. No, it's nothing. <laughs> Come now, kiss me goodnight and go to sleep. Uh, I'll try to sleep. Oh, we had a long journey before us. I want to get a good night's rest. Oh, I'm so sleepy. Oh, where am I? Uh, Ed! 
Edgar. Who are you? He's standing from my eyes. Take it off, I tell you. Take it off. I'm going mad. Remove the bandage. Stop the ventilator fan. The air is clear enough. Where am I? Where is my husband? Answer me. Answer me. I am Professor Rosaline. You are in cave in Mongolia. Oh. oh, what does it all mean? Tell me where is my husband? He is safe. Well, bring me to him then, and I'll leave. Why are you holding us? Do you expect ransom? We are only poor missionaries. May I answer no to all your questions? Your husband shall be brought here. What happened? We were kidnapped. You monster. Yes. You were drugged by etherized vapor and then carried off. Come in. Edgar! Marie. Take off his eye bandages. Loosen his hand ropes. My friends, you have both been trailed since you left Chow San. You, my fair lady, are the first white woman to come into this desert country. You are a gift from the gods to me. Well, what do you want? End this awful suspense. You are both captives of a certain government scientists, attempting the experiment of mating white men with monkeys and apes. What? The so-called hairy wild man. And we are to be used as subjects for this meeting? Why, well, you must. <gasps> the entire civilized world will rise up in horror against it. It's unholy. We are here to prove that man has descended from the monkey. Prove beyond question by producing the missing link. <laughs> and we are to be sacrificed to science? That is our idea. Oh, no. No, no. Open the gate. Come, be quick. Fly more ether before the monster tears us all apart. There. Good. He's asleep. Bring in the man and woman. Very good, Professor. Even off. Prepare the instruments. Sterilize them. Come. Quick, no delay. Yes, Professor. Quick. What is it? Here are the subjects. You are decided to go through with this? Absolutely. We are proving by offspring as conclusive evidence that man and ape are blood relations so near that they must have sprung from the same parent stock. Are you aware that these ape man offsprings could be used as criminals? A whole army could be turned loose, healing their opponents barehanded. Enough! Enough. Prepare the syringes. Stop motor. Yes, sir. Strap the man on the table first. What are you going to do? Every day at this time, a vein injection. Your blood will be pumped into the veins of the hairy wild man. Turbo the dolphin. If this fails, I have another plan. With you, madame. A plan sure and positive. You see. We have to be resigned, Edgar dear. Just another cross to bear. Roll the cage away. Closer to the light. The motor. Stand by with the ether. Strap the woman down. The scalpel. Open the man's veins just below the armpit. Doctor, you can be assured that nations will risk their lives and money to root you here and destroy you. I have spent five years here in this awful hole trying to capture this almost extinct hairy ape. I succeeded. And then you came along. <laughs> Stand by, Ivanov. Turn the beast away. Release the other hole. And master's good. Increase his pulse is weak. The oxygen. Quick. Release the air. Release the air, I tell you. It is open as wide as we dare. Open it wider. Full. The eight must live. All my work. All my years. The eight must live. Master, I am afraid. I am afraid. It is too late. What? The eight is dead. Thanks for the applause, gentlemen. The shock of the ape's death upset the doctor's plans. We were blindfolded and led far down the winding road. Caravan picked us up after we'd wandered for days. My husband was dead. Well, uh, what about the doctor's camp? 
News agencies all over the civilized world to this day are sending out expeditions into Chinese Turkestan searching for this camp to affect its destruction. Well, I hope they find it and destroy it. Who wants a missing link around the front yard? <laughs> <laughs> hopes you've entertained. Soon again we'll be with you with another tale, another thrill. <laughs> 